Hello guys, how is everyone? First and foremost, I'd like to thank everyone for the support so far on my Street Fighter tutorial video series. At the time of recording, I've just hit the 250 subscriber mark, which in the grand scheme of things is incredibly small, but to me that's a huge milestone. So again, many thanks to those who have taken the time to click the subscribe button. It means so much to me. I never thought I'd be making tutorials on YouTube, but here we are. On to this video though, I thought I would make a very quick vlog video to show the progress I've made with the current code. I spent this past week cleaning it up, refactoring, correcting timings, extracting some graphics and pulling out some sounds. You know, the usual game development stuff. So what you're seeing here is what I've currently got so far. As you can see, I now have all the basic attack moves, which includes the light, medium, heavy punches and kicks, from all the basic moves like standing, crouching and jumping. And yes, even for Ken too. I've also corrected a few of the animations, and hopefully managed to get the timing right for the attack moves, so it should look authentic at least. Which actually leads into collision boxes. I've also now got the collisions for all the standing frames also. So, as you can see, we're able to register attacks and take damage, which is a large step forward, and honestly took far longer than I expected extracting all the frame and collision data. That said, I think we're edging closer to simulating the original game, and thought it warranted a small demo. I expect these changes in an upcoming video soon, I guess. In regards to the next steps, I'll probably be looking to get the fighters to react to the hits, along with adding the blocking and throwing moves. But finally, to the downside to this then, and why I'm primarily making this video. The next video in the series might be a couple days late this time, unfortunately, due to the work I've been doing here. Apologies on that one, but I needed to get ahead of the code so I can prepare and plan the following parts in the series. Also, while I'm here, I'll be interested to hear what you think of the series content so far. Are you happy with how they delve into the topics, explaining as we go? Or would you prefer shorter, to the point videos instead? This would be good to know if and when I start another tutorial series. In regards to the actual code I'm writing, I've been looking to make this available at some point, but I'm still wondering how to go about doing it. As I've spent a lot of time trying to get to where we are now. Some more news on this soon, I guess. And with that, I'll leave you with the rest of the video. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Hands out.